to church, God is good? All and all the time. Thank you. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you for we realize that um, the invitations were short notice. But we are much grateful for you making the time tonight to come and share with us as we launch yet another product as GTEL. I want to appreciate everyone that made it tonight. I want to let you know that we, we as a company are here in Zimbabwe to stay. We are a Zimbabwean company going nowhere, but going somewhere. Amen. Amen. I only speak in church in front of people. So the amen, the God is good, will continue to come. And I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Amen. amen. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, last time we met with some of you was the time when we were launching the GTEL MX1. And I want to let you know that till today, MX1 is still the most sought after smartphone in Zimbabwe. Um, it's still doing very well. Thank you, Mr. God. It's doing very, very well. Actually, it's one of our best-selling uh, flagship smartphones. We sell more of the low end, but of all the flagship smartphones we've ever had, the MX1 is still doing very well. And when you are doing very well with the product, you seem to have no need to bring another. Because especially if your reason for doing what you're doing is money, because it's bringing the money from and the finger shit is bringing the money. But um, today we want to introduce to you the next best thing that GTEL has brought, and it's simply called the GTEL SL 5.5. Uh, it was SL 55, like the Mercedes Benz, but it's the SL 5.5. And introduce this product, ladies and gentlemen, help me to watch this small video. The SL 5.5, ladies and gentlemen, I have it in my hand. Until maybe two or three weeks ago, this was the slimmest phone in the world. I really wish we had done our launch three weeks ago. There is one that has just come out, which is 5.1, but it is the slimmest phone at Gita. It is the slimmest phone in Zimbabwe. It is the slimmest phone in Africa. And it is as slim, 5.5 millimeters slim. It feels amazing in the hand. It is so beautiful. Um, when we made the MX1, we thought we had done it. We came up with the 5.5. A friend of mine said to me when he saw this phone a few days ago, he said, my friend, this is so amazing. After this, total took us to landline. Because I could see This is so nice. I know a lot of people uh, are really wanting to have this phone in their hand. We have. They will be putting them on display, you'll be able to touch and feel this phone. But let me just go through the slides as I introduce to you what this is. This phone is uh, redefining slim. SL stands for super slim. Slim, slim, slim. Uh, when you're coming up with a phone, a phone defines people. Uh, most people, I was talking to someone and uh, we were a little excited by iPhone's band test. You know, iPhone, ah, for the first time, iPhone is not doing it. And someone said to me, my brother, it is nothing. It can bend into pieces. It is not the phone. It is the brand. And I have my iPhone in my pocket. I feel important. So we have to come up with something that when you have, you feel like this phone is worth putting in my pocket. And we've come up 
with the and the design concept is behind coming up with something that defines people, defines who they are, and is something that people will be proud to take out of their pockets and show their friends. This event tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be talking about the unique slimness, we'll be talking about the glass that is we use to make this phone, and the aluminium and the colors. It's not going to be very long as we have a second half to this launch. Uh, the metal body. This phone is not uh, one of those phones that uh, is plastic. I don't want to, to, to speak of other brands, but this one has no plastic on it. Yeah, this one, uh, if yours is plastic, you have an opportunity after tonight to own a phone which is made of a full aluminium body. Not full aluminium cover. Full aluminium body. Uh, there, there's a difference. Uh, some phones will have a look-alike, look like. Looking at your phone and I'm trying to see if I can use it as an example. It's not so good to do that. But this is a full aluminium body. It's an aluminium piece that was cut to leave a frame. Uh, other phones will have something like that where you just take plastic and then you coat it with a little of, you know, something that makes it look like it's expensive because aluminium looks expensive. But ours is made out of a full aluminium body. Why aluminium? Because it is light and yet it is strong and when it comes to dealing with color, aluminium uh, will come out the best. The process in which uh, the metal process was, was done is very meticulous. It involves uh, forging, it involves computer numeric control, it involves nano molding and all this exercise is not something that you just go and say give me this cover and get a mold and that's it. It is a very meticulous process which we came up with when coming up with this metal frame. Why the metal frame? Because it also acts as antenna uh, uh, of the phone. Um, and that means that your reception will be even much better because the body acts as the antenna of the phone. The corner part, you'll see our phone is, is just I have two ends and three things. But there's little rubber things that try to, you know, to, to let me show you. <laughs> Uh, I can't let you have it, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but it also acts as an antenna, so your reception for your Bluetooth GPS will be much better than your normal for your uh, 3G and GSM and LTE reception will be much better on this phone. Uh, the other day we have another phone that we gave somebody and they said I went and the base station in my area was down but I was still able to get one bar and it was reading a base station from the citizen and the guy was almost in, uh, in waterfalls. It is possible when you have a very good antenna on your phone. Uh, it is difficult to come up with a slim phone and at the same time be able to come up with, the, with all these components that make the phone even worthwhile having. Because slim is one thing, but functionality is another thing. And it being a, a narrow, you have narrow spaces to work with, you have interference because things are all cramped up and precise cutting and all these things make it very difficult. But let's take a minute and watch another video again to do with the aluminium body making process. that is the aluminium body that is on the SL 5.5. Let me go to the next thing that I will be talking about tonight and that is the technology around the glass. This all this why we invited the media is because we want you to start looking at GTL with a different perspective because for so long 
we have struggled to prove to people that what we do, we do it from the heart. We don't just do to, to just because it's something that can be done, but we really do from the heart. The technology behind the glass, the glass on this phone is a Gorilla, a Corning Gorilla Glass 3. On our last launch, we were talking about Glass 2 on the MX1. And the Glass 3 is three times more durable than the second generation, which was on the MX1. It, the visibility of scratches on the phone has been decreased by 40%. And the strength of the glass when you drop the phone, which is the biggest challenge with most phones, you drop it and it breaks. It has been increased by 50%. Uh, but how do you end up with a product that is this good and still try to have a very slim phone? The cover of the touch panel is the world's slimmest. That is still the world's slimmest as of today. The, world, the, the cover that we have chosen to put on this phone is 0 0.55 millimeters, making it the slimmest touch panel cover in the world. The back cover, which is also glass on this phone, is even thinner. It is 40 millimeters, making it the world's thinnest back cover of any smartphone in the world. I almost couldn't believe it. The glass process, also meticulous. Very, very, everything done to precision, because there is no way you can achieve this masterpiece by cutting corners. You have to do everything to the best way that it can be done. And maybe without, let's play again another video of the glass, how the glass is made, and you will see the process, that it is not a two-minute process. <laughs> 